Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, what are the cognitive and emotional processing characteristics that we see with antisocial personality disorder? I'm going to refer to antisocial personality disorder as APD. And really, this is a combination of two separate questions submitted by subscribers, one about the emotional processing and one about the cognitive. So APD is a mental health disorder characterized by a number of potential symptoms, including lack of remorse, low empathy, a disregard for individual safety, mistreatment of individuals, repeatedly engaging activities that could be grounds for arrest, lying, fighting, and a lot of other symptoms that have an impact on society and of course on the individual. And of course we usually think of this impact as negative. APD has been associated with a lower level of agreeableness and conscientiousness on the five-factor model. But it's not clear how it relates to openness to experience, extroversion, or neuroticism. It may have associations with certain facets on those traits, but it doesn't appear to have a strong association at the trait level for those traits. Now, in terms of the emotional processing for APD, APD has been associated with a lower level of control over emotions and a lower level of insight into emotions. Also, we see a decreased ability to experience what are referred to as complex emotions, specifically guilt, trust, respect, and closeness. Now, findings in terms of APD and anxiety are mixed. Some studies show that individuals with APD have lower anxiety response, a lower level of anxiety. Other research shows that individuals with APD are much more likely to have anxiety. And some research indicates that 50 to 70 percent of individuals with APD will develop an anxiety disorder at some point in their life. Now in terms of cognitive processing, I'll start with memory. Individuals with APD have a greater risk of experiencing difficulty recalling emotional information. And they tend to have a fairly good memory when it comes to negative affect, negative emotion, but a poor memory for positive emotions. Also, we see that individuals with APD inaccurately assess threats and have a diminished fear response. They also tend to have increased impulsivity, specifically looking at facets like lack of premeditation and high sensation seeking. Now, when we talk about APD, it's important to note that there is comorbidity with this disorder, and specifically related to emotional and cognitive processing. It's important to realize the role of substance use disorders and APD. 85% of individuals with antisocial personality disorder will have a comorbid substance use disorder. And we know that substance use disorders are connected with, are associated with, difficulties with emotional processing and cognitive processing. So it could be that with antisocial personality disorder, we see these deficits in emotional and cognitive processing and it could also be that the substance use disorders play a significant role in this too. And with comorbidity as high as 85%, as I mentioned, it's really difficult to differentiate what's causing the processing difficulties. We do see even individuals who only have antisocial personality disorder, some of these deficits. But when you add substance use disorders in, it does become more complex to figure this out. I hope you found this description of emotional and cognitive processing with antisocial personality disorder to be interesting. Thanks for watching.